You've probably seen these things all over Discord before. They're called embeds. And more recently, they've become more advanced with buttons and drop downs. And that's what we're going to be setting up today. And I'll even show you how you can set it up for free with a custom webhook just like this. So you can add your little server branding. First, we want to go to Sapphire's website, which will be linked in the description below. You want to click dashboard on the top right here. Scroll down to your server, click it. Then click continue and just authorize all these permissions. Then click I am human and you should then have the bot in your server. So now in the dashboard, the message tab is going to be the main one which we're going to use. So to start off with, we need to create some templates which are going to be our embeds. So once you've given it a name, click create and it should open this little menu here. And this is how we get to customize it. Now this process is basically the same as creating any normal embed in terms of its formatting. And I do have a more in-depth video all about embeds which I'll link in the card and description. To get started with this you want to click the edit tab and here you can use a space to type anything outside the embed. I'm just going to control A and delete all of this. I tend to just shove all my information in the actual embed. So you want to click new embed here and then just want to put all your information in with the required fields as such and then you can click the preview tab as you're going along to kind of see how it looks whilst you're editing. If you want to change the colour, you can click this little bar on the left here and either type in a hex code or just use the colour picker if you want to select one manually. And then once you've got all that sorted and you're happy with your embed, click save on the bottom. And now we're going to create a couple more templates so we have some ready for when we add the buttons. And if you want to make this easier for yourself, if you want to create another template, you can actually load the previous one so it saves all that double work if you want to copy a similar style. Once you're happy with all of that, we're now going to go and actually create the buttons which will link all of these templates together. So there's actually two main ways which we can present this information using buttons. We've got the send message way and then the edit message way. Um, so the send message is where it opens information in this blue box uh, or called epithermal. I think that's how you say it. Uh, and that means that only the user can see it once they click the button and so anyone else who's looking at the channel doesn't see it and the second way is using this edit message where it actually creates these pages and you can create like a book or something so to do this we want to go to the components section and in the custom buttons menu part here we want to click the action text box here type the name of the button and then click create you want to then select the button you've just made click the plus to add an action and this is pretty much the action that the user will take or the bot will take when the user clicks the button. You want to click in this case send message and ensure that epithermal is ticked. It should do it automatically and then you just need to select the template or the embed that you want to be sent. That will make it so the embed is sent like this when someone clicks the button. Now if you want to create the page type message so when the user clicks a button it edits it. We're going to create a new button but then make the action edit message rather than send and then just select the template. I would suggest though only doing these page type buttons on embeds which get sent via a button. Once you're happy with all the buttons that you've created we want to go back to the templates and go back to this main information one that I made earlier. We're now going to start adding these buttons so you want to go to action row and then click add button. You can then click this cog and then choose the color under style and then you can click select an action and you should see all of those buttons that you previously created. Click on one and then it should set that button's action so when a user clicks it, it will do whatever that action is. Now you just need to name the button and then give it an icon with the emoji that's on the side here. You can add custom icons or emojis to this by just adding it to your server and then refreshing the dashboard and then it should appear. But then for the rest of the buttons, you just add them the same way that you did before. And if you have a look at the preview, you can see then how it will look. To create a drop down which sends a message, it's pretty much the same process. But in the components section, you just go to custom select menus. Give it a name and click create and then add an option. Name it accordingly and then select the action just as we did with the button setup. And then when you go to your template, under the action row, just create a select menu rather than a button and then click the cog. Select the action just as we did before and then all you need to do is pair up the options which you made in the component with the one that you create here and then you have a working drop down menu. Now you just need to save your changes and either click send to have it appear as your custom bot if you happen to pay for the branding. If not you'll see it will send a sapphire but here's a way that you can kind of get that custom branding for free. Simply go back and click the send command message option 
adding your icon and your name. If you're unsure on how to add the icon, I just sent an image to my alt account and then copied the link. Then you want to go to default messages and search for send message and this one should pop up here. Now just load the template that you did previously, click save, jump into discord and then click the channel that you want this embed to appear in. You want to type this command s exclamation mark send then the number one you just do this every single time and then you'll see it will send the message that you just made in sapphire's dashboard straight into your discord you delete these two messages here and now you have that multi-page embed system in your discord now if you want to learn how to create these custom channel headers to make your discord look 10 times better then click the video on the screen now trust me you won't regret it